Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where we are going to be surviving a total of 400 hours within the game. Now, to give a little refresher, this is my Quacks Blocks Jr. account. It's the second account I ever made, and I decided I wanted to see how far I could get within the game by just picking up some very basic game passes, like the VIP pass, the 8x hatching game pass, the double wins game pass, the teleport game pass, and that's basically it. We haven't purchased any pet equips, we haven't purchased any pet inventory, we haven't purchased any event tags or any event passes or anything else that would give us any sort of advantage. And so far, within 300 hours on this account, we have made it all the way to the Space Center, all the way to World 7. And today, our goal is to try to beat the final boss, Mr. Dr. Propulsion. And it's a tall task. Now, the reason for that is because even with our 1000% buff tiger arm, we are only sitting at around 265 SX strength, which means means we need to get around 100x our total strength within the next 100 hours and that's gonna be pretty pretty difficult but i think we have some tricks up our sleeves that will hopefully allow us to get there and with the time on the clock already counting up or i guess counting down however you look at it we better get going so quick recap of where we already are the best pet on our account is the goliath ghost haunted pumpkin with a level 74 boost so a 933 million multiplier pairing that with i believe six lava dragons all with the best friend five multiplier you can definitely see it's been a while since we've been on this account i think it's definitely been at least a few weeks and so there's a lot of progress we can make i actually don't know if we can get a better pet than this for our best pet but we can definitely get some more pet equipped and we can definitely get some better best friend pets thanks to the christmas event that is currently going on and that is due to the advent calendar that is currently in the game because as you can see they are currently giving away plus two pet equips and plus three pet equips they are only valid for 30 days and for 15 days respectively but that's okay because we are only going to be on this account for the next four days because that's how long 100 hours is and so now we have a total of 12 pet equips and i actually want to see heading back to spawn how close are we to getting our next free pet equip oh dude we are so far we have to get to i think 200 yeah 200 pets discovered so there's no way we're gonna be getting to 13 pet equips and do we even have any extra best friend enchanted pets i mean we have one extra lava dragon is is that it oh my gosh for event eggs these guys i mean that's a best friend six and best friend seven but it's so rare that's a best friend five but it's one in a thousand but i think you guys might know where i'm headed with this oh by the way i can't forget to collect all the rest of my boosts we are going to be saving these 3x boost 24 hour passes for the last 50 hours of the challenge because that is going to be super clutch once we have all of our teams fully set up. Let's go and see from this wheel. 380 spins might be able to get something. Just not even a bunch of keys. What do we even get from that? A bunch of level ups, some candy. I think it was just candy. Wow. I mean, not terrible, but not really great. I mean, there's no way we got... Yeah, we definitely didn't get any of the winter, the uh, Christmas pets. But pretty much my main goal right now is I need to AFK this Santa boss for the first few hours because we need to get a full team of Candy Thief 3 pets because once we have these, we can start AFKing bosses, getting enough candy to hopefully purchase, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, 200,000 candy for a glowing, that is so insane. Wait, even this, a Candy Cane Dominus, wait, let me do some math. If we got three of these, turn that into a 15 million big pet turn, or turn it into a golden. I'm just trying to think, how do I get a better pet than this 91 million Goliath Ghost Haunted Pumpkin? It's gonna be tough, but I think at least for now, I should probably just focus on getting best friend seven pets rather than focusing on getting a new best overall pet. Because if I could turn every best friend five into a best friend seven, that would be like a 30 or 40 million increase right there if not even more so yeah game plan starting things off we're not working on arms we're not working we're, oh my gosh i grinded 60 super rebirths let's freaking go oh my gosh i'm so happy i forgot i did this we almost have the best trail for arms there's actually a good bit of work we could do we just need platinum keys i mean for christmas crates i'm down to open some open 20 ah uh, we don't get anything good but over we, we could end up improving our best arm if we get like a gingerbread arm or something but yeah if came the santa boss for i i think it's gonna take oh man a, f a few hours or maybe maybe about an hour to get the amount of eggs 
eggs we need. At least that's what I'm thinking. So uh, I'll get you guys in about an hour. All right, we may or may not have gone a little overboard with AFKing the Santa boss because we did it for about 10 hours, but we do have 16,000 eggs, which should in theory be enough to hopefully get a full team of Candy Thief 4 or 5 pets. But at the bare minimum, a full team of Candy Thief 3s. Do we at least have a luck team? Oh, we do. Let's go. I mean, it's only 7 luck pets. And we have some other ones laying around that we can equip. And we have auto hatch on this account, which is beautiful. So we're going to get at least a full team of Candy Thief 3s. And then we're going to uh, open up the rest of these 16,000 eggs to see... Can we get a full team, team of Candy Thief 4 and 5? Actually, before we do that, sorry. Let me go see. We have 100,000 candy just from AFKing the boss last night. What, what can we get with that? What's in the shop? What's in store for us? Uh, with the Santa Merchant, what we got? We got Best Friend 7 Frosty Penguin. Frosty Penguin's pretty baller. Dude, I don't get this. Chance of Best Friend 8, cool. But look, dude. It's 35,000. 1.5 million versus a 5 million Frosty Penguin. Let me just ball out. How many of these can I buy? Only five of these? Ch oh, it just says best friend. Wait, this is, makes no sense. This is a chance of best friend seven. It's 1.5 million. This is guaranteed best friend seven, and it's a 5 million multiplier. They're the same price. Okay, well, uh, if we wanted to, we could, we could combine them up into a big, but I think for now, we're just going to stick with them all being best friend seven, because now with a haunted pumpkin equipped. Oh, wait. We have access to the, uh, to the slime machine. Yo, I forgot about it. And it's a Goliath. So this instantly will be getting some sort of boost. I don't know what kind of boost we're going to get. Let's see what we're going to slime it. What's it going to be? Blue. Not bad, right? I mean, it's 127 million. So these pets are almost all 200 million multipliers. Huge, huge, huge buffs right there. Instantly out the gate. Just 10 hours in. We're making huge leaps and strides. And our team. But let's get back to opening these eggs because we have 16,000 we need to open. And uh, yeah, I really don't want to be here all day opening up these eggs. All right, we now have our full Candy Thief 3 team, which means we can X out the Mistletoe Mischief and open up the remainder of our 15,000 eggs just trying to get Jingle Paul, which means hopefully we can get some Candy Thief 4 and 5 eggs, which would be huge. Because then we could really see if we can get some best friend eight eggs from the remainder of this event. Or maybe just, I mean, the candy cane actually would be pretty big. We don't even really want that. And I think this will take uh, close to an hour. No, actually, maybe half an hour. I don't even know how long it takes to open these eggs. So I'll uh, see you guys. We're done. Alrighty, let's see. How many Jingle Paws did we get? We got one, two, three, four, five candy thief ones. And the rest were best friends. And we just don't need any best friends friends at the moment because they're all best friend fives so we can actually delete our candy thief three team and add one two three four five of these and one two three four five six seven of these so it looks like we have two candy thief fives three candy thief fours and then seven candy thief three so all in all a pretty good haul and over the next 90 hours that'll give us a huge boost for our team and let's just go see can we purchase any more Ooh, oh i think i'll just kind of save it for these frosty penguins if i just back out and join another server does that give me a new santa merchant nope it's the exact same so i really just want best friend sevens i don't really want best friend sixes so our new strength team what is it looking like right now we're sitting at around a 1.5 billion strength team multiplier it's around three times more than we started with which is a massive massive gain and on top of that the advent calendar blessed us today with a 3x boost but for 48 hours so we can actually go ahead and claim all of our boosts meaning we now have 96 hours of total 3x boost so actually our team is worth around 4.5 billion stats which is crazy because that is almost nine times as much as what we started with just 10 hours ago so if we go back to the space center and if we join a world with some friends boost multiplier and we put on our strength team we're getting 326 qa every curl which i don't really know how much that equates to i mean hey i see that number going up which is the important thing and then again let's see arms oh crates we can afford some christmas crates that's for sure let's open up 130 of these or just kidding gotta delete some we're gonna open up all these see what we get oh some candy canes wait what Oh, I don't think that'd be a better multiplier. Dang it. So what about these platinum crates? Uh, that, are we, can we get anything better? Ooh, buff chrono. That's like a 
1200%, right? Or like 1235, so like a slightly better arm as well. It didn't even work. No. Okay, so that's 1200%. Yeah, the other one's like 1235%. So I mean, that gives us yeah, like another 20 SX. I mean, it, it's helpful. And then for trails, yeah, we're, we'll, we'll eventually get the best trail. It's only like a 15% increase, so it's not a whole lot. So since it looks like we definitely aren't going to be getting a better overall pet, I think we can try to really focus on getting this haunted pumpkin the highest level we can get it. So I think we're just going to spam all of the snacks we have on it. Currently, we're definitely not going to get a level 99, but we can get it pretty close. All right, let's see the damage. What level did we get it up to? 81, an extra 10 million. Not bad, not bad. Do want to see though, getting it red slime would be pretty tough, but if we could get it, that'd be so huge. But yeah, let's smother alt account. What's up, what's up, bro? How's it hanging? <laughs> I want to de-slime it. Ah, oh, it takes three minutes. All right, dude, I didn't say anything about this account being free to play, did I? Mm -mm. Listen, all right, I hate waiting for timers and simulators, man. Come on, just don't give me yellow. Don't give me yellow. Icky, that's what I deserve, dude. I deserve that for, for speeding up with Robux. All right, I'm going to sit around and wait, wait three minutes. And I'm uh, gonna keep doing this until I at least get a purple or red. I mean, it's a 15% chance, so it might take me a while. But once we at least get purple or red, then we'll be chilling and we can move on with our life. Okay, this took a while, but I'm fine with it. We got a purple slime Goliath goes on a fucking 154 million multiplier. So we're probably close to the 2 billion total stat mark for our team getting 40 QA every time we curl this little bar. And again, we can get this even higher with our friends boost multiplier. And of course, getting more best friend seven pets on our team. But what bosses can we beat? So we can actually beat the missile maven right now. And with our candy thief team, how much candy do we get when we beat? Oh, bro, we're kind of struggling. What the heck? 21 candy coins. That's not bad at all. Wow. Is that just a lot? 18. No, that that seems pretty normal. Jeez, that's, that's a, good, a good chunk of candy. And 1.80 wins, which I don't really know what I'm going to do with the wins, but I I'll take it. That's for sure. Oh, wait, no, we're getting 478 QA. I didn't have my right team on. Oops. There we go. That looks a bit more right. All right, I'm going to go AFK for a few hours and see where we end up just to see how things are looking. If it's possible to just honestly see there, like, could I AFK for like 90 hours? Because we're, we're getting strength kind of fast, but is it fast enough for us to catch up to the 20 SP total strength needed to beat Dr. Propulsion? I don't know. We're We've done a lot of work so far in these first 10 hours. Obviously, AF King, some more bosses. We can purchase some more pets from the Christmas event. And has the market reset? Oh, the merchants. It has reset. No, it's only best friend sixes. Oh, wait, chance of best. Oh, it's chance of best friend sevens. It's all chance of best friend sevens. Dang it. But can I go leave and join another server? It doesn't hurt checking, I guess. Nope, it's the same across all of them. I mean, if I'm going to be sitting. Ah, uh, is it worth it? I mean, replacing all these best friend fives with best friend sixes would be like a 500 million million stat increase so that might actually be worth it ah, dude it's such a tough decision you know what i'm just gonna afk for a few hours and then we'll uh, we'll make our decision when we come back and see how much strength we have all right so after a few hours of afking we were able to get up to 618 sx strength which if we go take a look at these bosses over here we're still quite a ways off from being able to beat the layer guardian but again we're we still have five best friend five pets on our team and a best friend six well luckily the frosty penguin is back in stock and we can pick up three of them so we only need three more to fully deck out a full best friend seven team and if we did that then our team would have a total of 2.4 billion stats and then then i think that'd be enough to get us to where we could finally beat the bosses here in world seven but honestly we just need the candy so as much as i want to train up strength I think the best thing for me to do at the moment would just be to auto fight these bosses and probably not even the missile maven, probably just the rocket rider because it's super easy for me to demolish this guy. And what about the arms? Arms would also be a really big help. And yeah, I think because in world seven, do they have the percent guide? Uh, wow, yeah, platinum arms, you get a 0.5% chance. So every 200 times you beat a boss, you're basically guaranteed a platinum key, which I know doesn't sound great. Wait, what are the odds from the wheel? spins oh it's a 0.1 percent chance but if we are able to spin enough candy coins okay i think this might be our like last ditch effort because the christmas crate if we could pull a reindeer arm or maybe even two of them and get a golden one like that would be insanely insanely helpful but we would need a ton of them which means we would need a ton of candy and there's really only one way to do that which is just afking a ton with a full team of candy thief pets so either way we need a lot of candy right now 
We need a better arm. And also winning. Oh, wait, do we have any potions? We have, wait, we have zero? Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, we're gonna get some wins by defeating the Rocket Rider. But uh, yeah, it's gonna take a long time for us to be able to afford a new trail. But I'm just trying to think of all the little ways that we'll be able to hopefully inch our total strength up to that magical 20 SP mark. But yeah, we're gonna AFK for the next, I think like five or maybe even 10 hours when we can get a full team of best friends, seven pets, and then maybe spend the remainder on Christmas wheel spins to see if we can't get a better arm. All right, well, we have an absolute ton of candy. So let's go purchase some best friend sevens. Or at least I hope we can purchase some best friend sevens. Three minutes left. Oh, perfect. There's some best friend sevens. How many do we actually need though? For our strength team, we obviously have the pumpkin. One, two, three. Oh, we just need one more perfect and now we have a full team of best friend seven bets with an extra hundred thousand candy left over and some extra arms and crates we can go ahead and open so let's go see if we can't get a little bit lucky oh let's go the reindeer arm 1400 percent boost let's get it up to 1700 whoa whoa, whoa. 713 sx strength Let's go. Wait, oh my gosh, we are perfectly at 5.3 in wins. That is the most, I didn't even realize that. Wait, we have the amount of wins required. Okay, so we're, we're about to be able to purchase the best trail. We most realistically probably just got the best arm, but because we have extra candy and I, I, I don't really know what else to do with my candy, I'm probably just gonna keep buying a bunch of wheel spins over and over and then opening up more Christmas arms because like really all that's left for me to gain strength in Arm Wrestling Simulator is A, either I somehow get a better overall best pet which just seems like a little unlikely at this stage in the game because without spending Robux and like buying this pet, for example, at least with the current methods in the game, yeah, I could. I mean, I've already opened like a bajillion of these eggs. There's no way I would get a giant rocket or enough giant rockets to, to get a ghost haunted pumpkin. And they already nerfed this wheel into the ground. I mean, there's, a, there's a chance we get the 500 million. So really i'm just gonna keep buying a bunch of spins spinning them all and i mean there's a chance and bro we got like two keys are you kidding me well that's just unfortunate well with our full best friend 17 equipped i mean yeah we just have a bunch of training to do so let's get back to it with a full friends boost and a full time boost and uh i'll check back in in about 24 hours well oh, gamers it's not looking good we have 2.8 sp strength which is only around 10 percent of what we need to beat dr propulsion but we have already burned through 40 hours of these 60 hours we have. And that's with like the best possible team we're gonna have with the best arm, the best trail, like the best everything. And so drastic times call for drastic measures. Now, as you guys know, this is not a free to play account by any means. And I've done my best to not spend any Robux on it, particular when I started recording this video. And it's the fact that right here, somehow I have never purchased the best value bundle, which literally gives you two x training strength on everything for hand grips bicep power and knuckle strength so right now when we train our biceps on this thing over here for example we're getting 300 qa every time we curl this barbell but when we purchase this and listen i tried to do everything by the books and i tried to grind as much as i could but we now wait wait what okay that was weird it's we got we have 1.1 qi but now we get 600 qa every single time we curl this barbell so we are now getting double the strength that we were previously getting which should be a huge huge help and might be the single factor that would push us over the edge and help us actually be able to beat dr propulsion and that's really the only thing that actually makes sense to get on this account like i'm not opening eggs i'm not like i'm a heck no not buying any of these pets and purchasing any potions doesn't make any sense getting pet equips yeah but i don't really want to just buy pet equips and spend Bam a bunch of pets because that's no fun. So same thing. All we can really do now is just sit around and train a bunch of strength. I wish there was something else we could do. We could try to get the red slime pet, but there's a part of me that just thinks it's kind of rigged. But a red slime, it's such a huge... You know what? We have to do it. We literally, if, if, if we want to, if we want to get 20 SP strength, I think one of the only ways we can do it is by grinding out 
a red slime. I, I just think we have to do it. So, uh, yeah. Saying bye-bye to the purple slime and hopefully hello to a red slime ghost on a pumpkin, which is like an extra two. It's like, I think it's actually like a 60 or 70 million multiplier, which would be huge with our best friend, 17. All right. Well, I don't know if you guys can see by the timer, but it is an hour later and all I've been able to do is just get another purple. And so I don't think it's meant to be. So we're just going to go back to auto training and, um, I'll see you guys in 24 hours and hopefully that game pass will have come in clutch. Oh, and G gamers, it's actually working. 24 hours later, we have 9.3 SP strength, which means what bosses can we actually beat now? Oh my god, we could beat Nova Nomad. Wait, let's put on. Do we have any winner of winner teams? I mean, this is an, oh, it doesn't even matter. Does it even matter? We have 5.7. Wait. Oh, we gotta click. We gotta click. Can we beat the second hardest boss? Let's go. I got a feeling, gamers. I have a feeling we're gonna beat Mr. Dr. Propulsion. Now, there's also, I think, a few codes we could put in, but I'm gonna save that for the 400 hour mark because that's gonna be absolutely crucial. And let's check the advent calendar. Is there anything else we're missing? It's a few days before Christmas. 15 uh, Christmas keys and 150 wheel spins. I mean, we can open it up. I mean, there's actually like no way we get a better arm. And what about trails? Oh, wait, can we purchase? Just the oh wait, wait wait they moved the trails over here uh oh we can purchase the best trail now let's see auto train oh little point three that looks like that's like a little like three percent bump in strength i think cool every little bit counts okay well uh we've got about 35 hours remaining but it looks like that pass was a huge, huge, huge help to us. So we're going to continue on strong AF Kang. And uh, catch you guys in about 35 hours. Well, the time is ticking down. We have two minutes left until the 400 hours is up. And well, on paper, we should be able to beat Mr. Talk to Propulsion, the final boss in all of our Mercing Simulator. We only need 20.7 SP total strength, but I don't know, something says it's going to be really, really close. We did log on and claim our extra two pet equips, and those helped us out a little bit, but I think mainly it was us purchasing that double hand strength knuckle and bicep strength game pass, what that really pushed us over the top, because without that, we'd be at like 13 sp strength oh wait i also forgot before we do that i think we could type in the code merry xmas we haven't typed in that code in this account that's like a five percent strength boost now we're up to 27 okay i'm feeling a little bit better 14 percent arm i think we're ready to go we've got 30 seconds left once and for all can we beat dr potion the final boss and oh my god wait what are we gonna lose this it's so close oh wait we're gaining now we're gaining we're so kind of losing Oh, we're gonna do it. We're actually gonna do it. Oh my gosh, that was so scary for a second. We have beat Dr. Potion, the final boss in Arm Wrestling Simulator. And it only took us 400 hours <laughs> on our account, which I think we've spent around a total of, of maybe 1,500 Robux. But again, I have to give a huge, massive, massive, massive shout out to this Christmas event. Because without it, we wouldn't have had any of these best friend sevens. But as always, hope you guys enjoyed. If you stuck to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching to this point. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.